So, are there any questions that you... You've got six minutes of me before February in an official capacity. Um, any questions, burning issues? One problem at the moment of the sitting that seems to be the difficulty of keeping the mind focused on the breathing and each rather than... Yeah. Um, Can you feel the breathing? Yeah. Mm. yeah. But mine just seems to wander off whether I'm not... You know, I'm just letting it wander off and not... Mm -hmm. like Well, it's sometimes that we put a lot of attention into the, the doing of it. Yeah. And often when we start sitting, we, we force ourselves to concentrate, feeling we should. Now, when that shouldness stops, we don't have the motivation to focus anymore. And so, it's more of a loving act of a companionship, if you like, between the, the idea of who's sitting and the experience of the belly. And so be very gentle and, and light as we were this evening and allow the attention back in a new way. Did you find when you were lying on the floor just watching the breathing in between the arm drops that you could keep your attention with it? Or? Um, no, it went a bit as well. Yeah. Mm. Well, don't do anything different. Yeah. Just, just um, lightly bring the attention back. Look for the stillness first at that place and watch the breathing taking place there. But look for the stillness first. Yeah? That would be useful. I'm just playing a tree. <laughs> you see last night I um it was it was it was like a real cathartic session for me. What's happened then? It felt like um well, you know, all those things you say I, I really um, understood them at a different level somehow. Mm. Well, I understood them, yeah. probably as what it was. Mm. Yeah, I found that image of just being a tree, just being... Yeah, it just yeah. felt like um, we were talking about the way out about the thing that you're just like a, another one of those little crazy mouse wheels suffering, going round and round and round and round and round, yep. chasing your own tail. <laughs> yes. It's all just a bit stupid and you just hop off and you can just be a tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Feel free to hop off. And this, when I did that arm exercise, I find that sometimes just sort of totally overwhelming. Me um, too. And, <laughs> you know, and then later I think, oh God, that sounded really corny. But at the time it feels um, overwhelming. Mm. This is, this is the journey, it's in, in this way, it's in, into the moment, there's this vast universe, vast journey, and it's always available. 
And it makes you wonder why we bother looking for the latest shoes or... Yeah, it does. It's exactly right. Mm. But there is another identity that needs shoes and likes, you know, likes to see some starlet walking along in some shoes and want to be like that. It's just recognising that particular identity isn't the one that's going to be in charge. It's a chocolate. And you can delight in that and you can fully delight in it because you know you're not trapped. You're not on the wheel. And so you can delight in that chocolate and then you can let it go. Keep watching and notice all the, with love and stillness, observe the thought processes and the motivations that rise and notice how they're so easy to let go of, like the thinking. They merely sort of just come to the surface and, and fall away. Need, status, um, who I am, approval, feeling of shouldness and goodness. Um, all these things come and go and that you're not moved uh, and then look at the ones where you are the ones where we're still on a wheel and it, it's okay it's no point in trying to get off a wheel you're not ready to get off but you know <laughs> in the end you're going to get off it it's recognizing it's time to grow up. And so gently, lightly, softening the dependency on that wheel. And fulfilling your commitment to that inner journey so that you know the fullness of who you truly are. Uh, makes the passage off the wheel much easier. Keep moving that arm. <laughs> or rather don't move the arm. I think we've covered a lot of work this time and uh, it would be nice to stay in touch and with each other about it as much as with me. Um, there's lots of videos on the web that will remind you um, there's everything from Tuesdays up and uh, a fair bit from the retreat. It's just don't feel it you know, I, for me, this is just the beginning of a process of taking this deeper. Um, you know, party tomorrow, watch a little bit of stillness, and then fully back into it, journeying into England and and practicing there. It doesn't stop for anybody. Why should it stop for you? Stay with it. Stay committed to learning and. Maintaining your connection with the present moment and watching with loving kindness the clinging and the craving and the pushing away. And we'll see where we are next. So thank you.